Hey guys, Heidi here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. So I just wanna go ahead and still paint with you. So this says, what is your word of the year for 2020? Okay, so go ahead and tell me in the comments your word of the year, I would love to hear it. And then I'm going to paint my word on the year, and my word on the year. <laughs> That is not what I'm trying to say. Um, hey, Sandra. Hey, Karen. Thank y'all for being here. Oh, we have a new person on here. Great. Um, okay, so what I'm doing is I picked a color palette um, for my word of the year, and I'll talk about it. And this is the color palette that I'm using. Okay, so what I recommend, and then I got a couple of my favorite stencils. What I recommend doing is when you pick a word of the year, be intentional about it. Pray about it. Um, write it down, you can change it. I've had a couple of different words of the year and I actually came up with athletic because I am not an athletic person. Is anybody on here athletic? I am not an athletic person. So this is going to be a very big stretch for me this year. And so I am actually doing I am athletic, okay? So I'm gonna put I am athletic as my word of the year. Um, last year my word was obedience. And my word for that was after praying and all of that, I decided to quit drinking for an entire year. And so my word was obedience because I knew I was going to need God's help because I wasn't a huge drinker, but I did like to have a drink when I go out to eat. And, you know, if I'm, you know, sitting with friends, have a drink while I'm talking about business stuff or whatever. Like I just loved having a drink and I um, heard from God that I need to not drink and be obedient to that. So my word last year was obedience, and it was pretty hard for a few months um, to just not drink. <laughs> and so, so um, after a few months of that, then it was fine. And now I decided after it had been a year, and I, you know, said I wasn't going to drink for a year, and then I decided to go ahead and continue not drinking because. I feel like, you know, God's blessed me a lot and it's worked out really well, so just don't want to mess that up. <laughs> sometimes sometimes when you quit something and it works fine, why, why start back? So I decided to not drink again, but in addition to that, um, I wanted to kind of be more healthy, um, and so I kind of picked the word health, and Carrie picked intention. That's a great one. Um, oh, Springfield, Missouri. That's where my, my um, aunt lives. Um, so yeah, so I originally picked health and then I decided to go, you know, I didn't really love thinking about the word health all the time because it makes me feel like I'm not healthy if I'm thinking about the word health. So last night we were at Six Flags, me and my husband, and I decided, I was like, what about athletic? Because I'm not athletic, but what if that was like my intention to be athletic? Not like, not like a big runner or anything because I hate running with passion. Um, but what if it was like, you know, just to be more athletic, maybe if I want to go do something or hike, you know, or, you know, carry my freaking art supplies upstairs <laughs> to a paint party. I'm not breathing, breathing, um, too hard, you know, stuff like that. So I decided to go with, um, athletic and what I decided to do and what I hope that you'll decide to do is paint your word of the year, but then also add at the top, I am. So I am, oh, hey, Lakila, hey, Sandra, conquer, oh, conquer, that is a great word of the year. Oh my gosh, hey, Amanda, hey, guys, tell me your word of the year when you come on here. So I decided to not only put athletic, which, yes, I know right now I'm not athletic, but I'm going to be, um, but I also wrote I am, so I am athletic, and so what I'll do is hang this up, and then all year it'll be in a place where I see it. And then when I'm making choices, you know, oh, should I go on that walk? Oh, should I, you know, go do that extra thing at the gym or whatever? Then I can always see it and go, oh yeah, maybe I should, right? Okay, maybe I should do that. So let me know in the comments what is going to be your word of the year. And those of y'all that are just joining, I know this is backwards. And um, Facebook is having a glitch right now. And I power cycled my phone and I still can't get the stupid thing to turn the other way. So we're just gonna have to deal with it while I'm showing you how to kind of paint your word of the year. So I'm gonna do this kind of fast so that you can see it. Okay, we have growth, inspire, blessed. Those are all great word of the years. 
Um, let's see, what else do we have? Carletta, what's your word of the year? Go ahead as you come on, tell me what your word of the year is. And remember, your word of the year can be something that you're striving towards. For example, I am not athletic, <laughs> so I'm striving towards being athletic, and that goes into the health and just wanting to be more healthy this year. Um, Lakilas is increase. Oh, I love that. And I love conquer. Who's the one that said conquer? That one makes me really happy. Yeah, and some, every year, you know, I always get my husband and my daughter to pick a word to Pixie, what's your word this year? Um, uniqueness. Oh, Pixie picked uniqueness this year. And last year, what was your word? And last year, Pixies was confident. So it's important to think about like, okay, my word last year was obedience. And, you know, I stopped drinking for the year. And I'm continually not going to drink. And I'm not against drinking. Don't get me wrong. I, I love a drink. But that was, that was something that was a challenge for me that I wanted to bring, you know, to the forefront this past year. So that was the same thing like with... You know, all year, any time I thought about that, I thought, no, obedience. Obedience this year. Obedience this year. Like, I just kept going back to that. So, I think it's important to paint it. If you don't want to go through the trouble of painting it, you can always just, um, you can always just write it on a big poster board somewhere. But the goal is, is to put it up somewhere. You know, in Paint Party Headquarters recently, I talked about vision boards and we talked about writing a hundred things that we want out of life. It doesn't have to be out of, you know, just 2020, but writing a hundred things. I mean, you'll be surprised. It's hard to write a hundred things you want out of this life. It's really hard. I've been adding to my list for a while now, but just to write all of those things. And then when you come back to it and you have something to, you know, compare, that's when you start to see see results, you know, so many times, and guys, I'm going to start doing the, um, the stencil, and um, but I want to tell you a quick story too while I'm doing it, so I'll say it, ooh, victorious, yes, I love that, strength to extend last year's words, courage, yeah, and sometimes they can kind of, you know, go in a couple of different phases, and um, consistent, Michelle, that one is so good, Trish says consistency too, um, Lewis says debt free, oh, I love that one, very cool, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have a couple of stencils. These are well-used stencils, you can see. I just want some, just some, you know, interest on here, and so it's not so boring. So I'm going to just kind of lay this on here, and then I'll move it around. And I'm going to use a different shade. So my first shade of turquoise was Sea Breeze by Deco Art Americana. I love these um, paints, so if you haven't used them before... And then I'm going to go in with an aqua sky, aqua sky, and then it's going to bring in just a little bit of a darker because I want to do my words this time in um, gold. And if y'all have not met me yet, hello, my name is Heidi and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties, but also I am obsessed with this gold. It's 24 karat gold. And, oh, not this one. Hold on. That's the wrong one. Glorious gold. I'm using a couple different golds. Oh, here it is. The 24 karat gold. This is my favorite. They have it in the bigger. I usually get it in this size, but um, I have this for today. Um, Sandra says, I have I have to quit smoking and get a help and get healthy because I have been told by my doctor I'm on the verge of a heart attack and I need to conquer. Sandra, oh my gosh, we will be praying for you. Yes. Um, you know, a lot of, like Bobby, he used to smoke, my husband, and then he went to the vape, and then from the vape, he, qu he quit smoking from there. I'm not saying vape, I'm not telling people to vape. Don't hear, don't hear that. <laughs> I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that's how he conquered quitting smoking, was he went to the vape, and then he went from that to no smoking. Um, and he hasn't smoked in years, thank, thank God. He's finally stopped, so I'm very grateful for that. Okay, so I'm just going to use this kind of brush, just a cheap brush from Lowe's or Michael's, and then I'm going to click, man, my brain is not working. I'm saying words all wrong. Did y'all ever do that? I'm like not saying the right words. I'm not going to click it. I'm going to hit it and like this, and then I'm going to just dab it. Dab it is the word I'm looking for. Um, let's see. 
words for the year of venture, and now I need to stop procrastinating. <laughs> Let's see. Amanda, you had a lot of life stuff happening, haven't you? A lot of, like, fun life stuff. Um. Oh, this one says, I, okay, Michelle says, I don't like my words, so I think that means I picked the right one. Yeah, it might be, it might be, Michelle, you picked a challenge word, you know? So that might be true. Let me see why that isn't working. Okay, there we go. And then Erica says, 2019 was my word. My word was grateful. 2020 is self-care, self-awareness, self-forgiveness, self com Oh my gosh, you have a lot of words for this year. And self-determination. <laughs> Erica, Erica is not playing around. She's going full force with a bunch of, but you know, it all has to do with self still. So that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna point this down a little bit. And again, if you're just joining me, I'm so sorry these words are backwards, but basically I want you to put in the comments what your word of the year is. And then um, go ahead and put that in there so you can see. And it really does make a difference of writing stuff out, okay? It's so, so important that, you know, I talked the other day, to my paint party headquarters girls about how you know like 80 percent of the world is just kind of going around you know we're not making goals we're just going through our days and about 20 percent of the world is actually making a goal a plan for what they want out of life and it's so so important that you know i feel like those of y'all that are just kind of trying even if you're just trying like you have a goal you have a direction you have a purpose you know, you're going to succeed way more than those that are just, you know, waking up every day, doing the same thing and not really like, does it have a, a, a direction or a, a location of where you're trying to head? And so I am huge on writing your goals, putting them up, even if you don't want to paint it, make sure you are placing it somewhere you can see it every day. Okay. So whatever you're trying to accomplish this year, um, and again, a lot of times we think, oh my gosh, there's no way, you know, like I was telling them to write the hundred things. There's no way that, you know, I'm ever going to get all those. Well, you don't have to get them all this year. You know, it doesn't have to be stuff you accomplished this year, but you know, at least start dreaming. Like there was a, I don't know if y'all saw, um, that special with, um, Ellen DeGeneres. She did that. I was watching Netflix when I was sick. I don't know if it was on Netflix or Hulu, actually. I don't know which one. But um, there was a special, and Justin Timberlake was on there. And I think he's funny, so sometimes I like to watch his stuff. And so he had um, he was helping do the giveaway for Ellen DeGeneres. And there was this, um, if you haven't seen it yet, I don't want to ruin, I don't want to ruin the show if you're going to watch it, but there was this one um, story where this, this guy, him and his fiance, were just, they were playing in the ocean, and he decided to do a backflip, and he was doing backflips in the ocean, and then he ended up um, like breaking his neck. I mean, it was it was an awful story because I think about Bob, Bobby's all the time doing stupid stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, like things like that. Like, you know, everything can be fine in life, and then all of a sudden it can just be in, a, in an instant taken away. And um, and so anyway, long story short, you know, he had his neck broke, and he was in the hospital, and a nurse told him. What did she say? Um, she said, how did she say it? I loved it. I wrote it down somewhere because I, she said, um, dream impossible things, something like that. Like expect impossible things or dream impossible things. And, um, oh, what am I stenciling, Marilyn? I am stenciling my word of the year. So I'm doing Paisley's right now. And then I'm going to put my word of the year on top. And something about like, you know, expect impossible things or dream, make goals, make impossible. Oh, that's what it was. Make impossible goals. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've never heard it said like that. Like write that down y'all make impossible goals, make impossible goals. And I thought, you know, how cool is that to, you know, I always love the Alice in Wonderland thing, you know, me and Pixie, I've always talked about that, how like, you know, we'll be sitting at breakfast and you're thinking about all these different things you want to do. I mean, you'll talk about tons of things or you'll dream about tons of things. And, and I think it's so crazy to think that, you know, a lot of times we just limit, we just think, well, that can't happen. So I'm never even going to speak it or dream it or even say it. 
But I'm asking you to write it down. <laughs> like really, like write it down. Write impossible things down. And my journal in there that I have, um, I think it has over a hundred now, but some of those things are things that I know are not gonna happen in a year. And um, oh, Marilyn saw that, okay, good. And then another one says believe. Oh, that's a great one. And um, you know, I know a lot of those things I wrote down are not gonna happen this year. But what if they happen next year? What if they happen the year after? You know, like dream impossible things, like make impossible goals. And, and I think it's so, so important that we, we do that, but then we also teach our kids, our grandkids as well. Okay, so can y'all see this? How it's just like, a, it's a lighter, a lighter shade. Like the light behind it, and then this is just a little bit darker with those two colors, okay? The reason I'm doing this is because I want to come over it with gold. So right now I'm just getting kind of some base color. And the reason I'm doing this as well, for those of y'all that are just joining, is I am doing my word of the year, but I'm making my word of the year painted so that I see it every day. So that whenever I'm you know, having a bad day or I'm trying to stay on track or whatever the case may be, um, I can look at this and just kind of keep <laughs> Tina's. Tina, we have another person that said debt free. You're not alone. We have another debt free person. And um, yeah, and if, you, if you've chosen your word of the year and it just doesn't feel right, like, I don't know, you'll know when it feels right. Like, I had, you know, I chose healthy and then I, or health, and I kept thinking like, that's not right. Like, it doesn't feel right. I don't want to think about health all year. Um, but saying I am athletic or athletic, and um, that makes me happy. Like, that makes me go, okay, that's a challenge. I can work towards that. Let me see. Because it's funny, the end of the year, um, the end of, you know, December, actually it was mid-December, there was a club volleyball, like for adults, like a co-ed club volleyball, and Bobby grabbed it, and he, it was at our gym, and he started laughing, and he's like, oh, you should join this, because I love volleyball so much. Love volleyball, but I suck at it so bad. Like, I'm really, really bad. And so, I was on B team in high school. I never got to play. Like, I always sat the bench. I just wasn't the one they chose to play <laughs> because I was so bad. So bad. And, um, and so, I just love volleyball. And I feel like, you know, if I was in another life, I would be a professional volleyball player. And this color right here, y'all, is Bahama Blue with Americana. Oh, Gloria says push. Push for a baby or push for your, your goals? Which one? <laughs> my, my, one of my best friends is pregnant. That's why I'm like, push. It's got me thinking of a baby. And um, so, yeah, so I just, you know, in another life, I always joke, like I would totally be a beach volleyball player. Like that's what I would love to be. But I suck so bad. And so Bobby's like, you should, you should be um, on the co-ed, you know, the volleyball team, the club volleyball that beats. And I'm like, oh man, that would be so much fun. But I mean, I can't even like walk upstairs without breathing hard. So I don't think that's, you know, a good time. But now, this year, now that I am athletic, even though I'm not right now, but I will be, maybe I can play on the club volleyball team. Who knows, maybe, maybe that dream will come true this year. I'll keep y'all posted. Okay, so I just added a bunch of different shapes and designs. And now I can get crazy with this and do flowers, and I'm actually probably gonna do some other stuff too. But I wanna show y'all really quick how to add these letters. Um, okay, Gloria's don't give up, good. Yeah, make sure when you come on, you write your, oh, determination, that's really good. And um, LOL, push for a baby. <laughs> gotcha. I know my brain's on, on babies with my friend. I was just talking about her baby shower. Um, okay, so I'm going to show y'all how to do this stencil here in just a second, but let me blow dry this a minute. So go ahead while I'm blow drying if you'll put your word of the year and let me know what your word was last year. Go 
hold for the end, for the words. Go forward. Ah, uh, Stephanie's daughter played beach volleyball. Maybe she can show me how. blow dryer that I've never used for my hair. I only use for, for this. And those of y'all that are just joining, I just want to say thank you for being here. I am doing my word of the year. I'm about to stencil it on using 24 karat gold and not officially 24 karat gold, but it's a, oh kindness, that's a great one. And um, glorious gold. I'm going to use this one, 24 karat gold deco art. It's a extreme sheen metallic. Um, you can get them at Michael's, but one of my favorite paints of all time. Okay, so let's see. Jess says, oh, Kimberly says tenacious. I love that. And Jess says, okay, last year was beach. I was never at the beach, but a friend took me in September. Oh, yay, so you made it. Yeah, it can be anything. It can be personal. It can be business. It can be, you know, maybe you just want more fun in your life this year. Um, my husband's this year is adventurous. He wants to be more adventurous, and Pixies is uniqueness, so it can be any kind of word. It doesn't have to do with, you know, your business. It can be totally personal. Um, Amanda says, I have two, intention and courage. Big changes coming. Yay! Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, yeah, and being intentional. Again, that's another reason why you need to be intentional with writing your words, writing your goals. Um, expecting impossible things or dreaming impossible goals and um, you know even if you don't reach them if you're attempting to get close to them you're going to get closer than you would if you weren't trying that's for sure so make sure you know this year i know everybody's like it's a new decade it's a new start it's a fresh start you know all of those things well technically we have a fresh start every day don't we you know and that's why I know I'm not athletic, <laughs> but hopefully by the end of 365 days, I will be athletic or at least a little bit closer to, you know, not losing my breath as I walk around places. And, um, you know, doing paint parties, there's a lot of times where, you know, I'll go to somebody's house and they'll say, yeah, the paint party's going to be upstairs. And I'm like, wonderful, <laughs> you know, and then the next thing you know, I am lugging up all of my stuff up several, you know, several stairs. And, you know, I don't want to tell the homeowners, oh, could you help me? You know, unless there's a, a bunch of, you know, strong guys there that are just like, yeah, I'll help. And it's a, like a family event. Then I'll say, oh, sure, that'd be great. But, you know, if it's a bunch of ladies and they're having a ladies night, I don't want to stop them from having fun, eating and drinking and being married to have them take all their stuff up. And, you know, to have them take all their, you know, paint party stuff up. So I'll say, no, I got it. And there were a couple of parties this season that I was like, oh, my gosh. I mean, by the time I got up the stairs with all the stuff, I was breathing hard. I was like, this, I got it. I got to start working out. And Susan says, how did you make the, let me make sure. How did you make the stencils? Okay, so this I made with a vinyl cutter. Um, it's, it's pretty, um, Actually, I'm, I'm not going to say it's pretty easy. And um, once you get it, so I have a U.S. cutter. Um, oh, mom's asking about her ears. And um, Pixie just got her ears re-pierced. So she's, I just got a text. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> I got distracted. And um, so I have a U.S. cutter. It's a vinyl cutter. It, it is kind of a little bit of a um, learning curve. It's not like the easiest thing to learn. And so I use an Oracle 813 for my vinyl. And I've heard a lot of people use that for like a Cricut or a, um, oh, look how pretty that is, like a Cricut or a Silhouette. It's kind of like a one-time airbrush use vinyl. Um, 
And it just works really well for me because when I do a lot of bigger parties, I can easily grab, like I can have it cut several times. But it's worked out great too because I do a lot of, a lot of paintings myself, but also mural work. So I'm gonna use this 24, 24 karat gold. It's a um, metallic paint from Deco Art. And I'm just gonna dab up and down with this same style brush. Can y'all see that? Is it down on there? Same here with the stairs, especially if they are whip outs. I know, right, Trisha? I know, man, it gets me. I'm like, I know paint parties, I always, you know, do time lapses and put paint party workout, because it, it really is a good workout. But I feel like, I just want to, this year, not to be an issue when I'm hauling stuff and, you know, and, and all of that. I mean, I'm only 40. I shouldn't be breathing hard going upstairs. Okay, so, plus it would be cool to play beach volleyball. Like, I just picture myself in another life, like, jumping and spike serving. Oh, it'd be so awesome. In another life. Maybe this life. Who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll about the end of the, end of the year, I'll be beach volleyball and I'll be on that team. I'll be like the superstar. Wouldn't that be so cool? People will come from all over to watch because it's like this prodigy. This started later in life. Hmm. Sorry, I'm daydreaming. Okay, what's going on? I walk dogs just fine, stairs are horrible. Yes, I know, I can walk blue, it's not an issue, but stairs, man, they kill me. Um, so tell me your word of the year as you come on. I'm about to pull this off. So this is at Oracle 813 vinyl, and it's um, just like an airbrush, one-time use vinyl. I use a US cutter. I'm actually um, thinking about getting a silhouette or a um, silhouette or a Cricut, if y'all have a, which one you like better, let me know on here. Um, Amanda says, you totally look, what'd you say, Amanda? You, you totally look like a beach volleyball girl. See, I feel like I could rock it. Dream big. <laughs> that's, what, that's what, let's see, that's what I love, watch my daughter. Yeah, Susan, I'm gonna have to check her out. I'm gonna have to see what she does, yeah. I think, you know, in another life, maybe if my high school, would have played me, I could have got some more practice. I wouldn't have been so bad. They would have seen my talents and I could have been this awesome. But then I probably wouldn't be playing, so I guess there's always a, a reason for everything. Okay, then I just pull it off and I recommend um, pulling it off immediately. So a lot of people say, oh no, it needs to stay till it dries. I don't recommend that. I recommend getting it off there right away just because it comes off a lot faster and easier and then you can always either use your nails or you can go to Harbor Freight and get some of the dental picks and then you can just pick them out or you can use you know a dental pick <laughs> my mom says I wasn't bad mom you lie they never played me I was awful moms they always they love what we do I wish I was wish I was, I was B team B team on the bench B team for bench. Okay, so this is backwards, but it says I am athletic. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and you can see how the gold shines. Can y'all see that, how it shines? So in person, it looks really, really cute. Um, so what I'll do is I'll kind of add in some flowers here with a different color. I kind of like the whole um, idea of the cream color, but I'm kind of, you know, me and turquoise and pink. Do y'all think I should stick with like cream flowers and keep it all gold and cream and blue like this? Or should I get crazy and add the pinks? Y'all let me know in the comments. So the pinks or the cream, which one do y'all wanna see? And then I'll add a couple flowers real quick. Okay, let me see, pink, okay, Nancy. Pink, Kelly's pink. Okay, good, I'm gonna start going with pink. Okay, so I'm gonna add a few pink flowers and I'm gonna point this down so y'all can see it a little better. Um, and then I might do the sides pink too at a later time. But basically, I love to do hibiscus flowers and I'm gonna use um, carousel pink and then I'm also going to use a royal fuchsia. I love my silhouette, I've never used a cameo. 
Okay, that's a, that's a little darker too. That's good. Okay, so when I do flowers, and I like to do hibiscus flowers, um, I think from my surfboard painting days, I just painted so many of them. They just come really, really um, out. They're just really easy to do for me. So I just take a little bit of paint, and I get it on both sides, and then I'm just going to take it and just kind of start right here with like a, an upside down U shape and then fill it in with a U, okay? So I'm gonna take it and let me know in the comments if you're going to paint your word of the year or if you're going to write it with Sharpies. Guys, if you don't have time to paint it, I know we're all busy, you could literally just take some different color Sharpies and write it on a poster board. You don't have to do a full painting. But if you have time and you want to, you know, do something to where it really stands out and you can hang it up somewhere, I, I recommend hanging it up regardless of what you do. Hang it up and whether you do just a piece of paper and you write it down and you put it above your computer at work or wherever, at home, um, just make sure you write it down. Okay, so I'm just quickly doing this really quick. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of light to it. I love these colors, if y'all if y'all don't know, I'm a turquoise and pink girl. I love, love these colors. Let me see. Oh, thank you. Sharpies on a poster. Yeah, Sharpies on a poster will work just fine. And the key is, is being intentional, which I know that was one of y'all's words. And the key is, is being intentional and forgiving yourself if one day you don't stick to your word of the year. Um, you know, it's really, sometimes it's, you know, people make New Year's resolutions and, and you know, if they don't stick to it, they're done and they're like, oh, it didn't work, so whatever, right? And um, what I want you to remember is every day, like, you know, it says in the Bible, his mercies are new every day. I want you to remember that and forgive yourself. So if you're trying to, let's say one of y'all's was, you know, be courageous, right? You know, courageous this, or being, you know, having courage this year. And if yours was, you know, about having courage and, you know, you really had a bad day or had a bad time, that's okay. Like, forgive yourself and go on because you're going to have another chance at it the very next morning. And so the same thing here, you know, I have a thing of cookie dough in my fridge and um, with my word being health, as I go to the fridge all the time and grab the cookie dough and eat it just bites at a time, I don't even like cut it or cook it. I just grab it, open it, and just <laughs> eat chunks of it. Does anybody else eat cookie dough like that? Um, and so, you know, yes, my word of the year was health, and then I changed it to be athletic, or I am athletic, because I wanted it to be more inspiring. Like, I wanted it to be something that made me go, okay, yes, I want to try to reach for that. So whatever you're doing, make sure it's something that you want to try to reach for. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a light pink and just add some shadings in here. Nothing major, just a little bit. And you can get real fancy. You can make it really shaded. But again, the goal is, is just to make it something that you're excited about. Something that you want to see. Something that you can put up to try to reach that goal. Okay, so I went over a couple of my lines. I'm just gonna go right on top of this. And then sometimes when you do a hibiscus, I have my hair in it, hold on. That's a brush, part of a, no, that's my hair. Oh, my hair turned pink. <laughs> my hair came out and then it turned pink. <laughs> Let me move that. And so if you're pushing, sometimes with the hibiscus, if you do this, you just kind of bring it and then you can just take it and just do a push. And when you do a push, it makes like a natural hibiscus, okay? And um, because the I Am Athletic is not showing up very good on screen, you can see it when I move it, but because it's not showing up very good on screen, um, what I might do, mm, I don't know yet. I might, might not, but I'll do it later if I do. I might add a little bit of a line 
in it, like, you know, just have like a little bit of a highlight line using the cream color for that. And I think I was gonna do pink on the sides, but let me see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do pink and then I'm gonna add a gold, a gold stripe. So I'll do a pink background or pink sides. And these are the, this is the gallery wrap canvas. You can get it at um, Michael's. A few times a year, they do them for 70% off. So when they do that, I buy a ton of them because I love painting big. And how many of y'all did that snowman paint big challenge with us? Wasn't that fun? I like literally thought, oh, there's six ways to make a snowman. And then after that paint big challenge with y'all, I was like, oh my gosh, there's hundreds of ways to make a snowman. <laughs> y'all had so many cute snowmen. And um, if you haven't seen it, you'll have to go look at some of the photos in Texas Art and Soul. We posted, oh, we posted a snowman parade. We posted a bunch of y'alls in the snowman parade. And it's so, so cute. I had no idea that snowman could be that creative. It was awesome to see. But yeah, so you can get these canvas for 70% off. So sometimes I'll get these huge canvases for like 10 bucks. Um, and I'm talking about like the 24 by 36. This is a, I think this one's a 20 by 20. And if you have somebody that's a friend of yours that has not done a word of the year, but you think they might like this, let them see it because I would love for them. Oh, I kind of like that. Do y'all like that with the pink? That's pretty. So once the pink dries, what I'll do is come in with a swipe of gold and then I can make it, let me dry it real quick and I'll do one and show y'all what I'm talking about. tried this one pretty good and let me show y'all what I mean I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this gold right here the 24 karat which is again one of my favorites and then I'm just gonna use one of my one inch flat brushes and just come in if it's all the way if it's all the way dry it'll really go over it and Vicki says, hope you're getting, oh my gosh, Vicki, I feel like myself finally. Finally, it took like nine days and I was really sick, y'all. I, um, I had a sinus infection and then it turned into, well, I had altitude sickness and then um, it turned into bronchitis and I was like, I'm never going to be the same. <laughs> I just was in that state of like, will I ever be normal again? Um, just trying to fight it. And so, yeah, I feel so much. Thank you for asking, um, Vicki. I feel so much better and um, finally feel like myself again, like I can be a part of this, a part of society again. <laughs> I was, I was really struggling for a while. Okay, so then I can just take that and do stripes, which I'm really liking how that looks, and um, do stripes, gold stripes, and then have my uh, I Am Athletic, and then my flowers, and then I'll add a little bit more color here. So um, the reason I wanted to do this live, y'all, is I wanted to encourage you to not only be intentional, hey Nikki, and not only be intentional about your word of the year, but also either paint it or write it down. I don't care if you write it down with Sharpies, whatever you decide to do. And, and then also I'll write I am in front of it. So if you want it to be, um, if you're gonna be courageous this year, I am courageous or I have courage. 
and make it as something that's actually happening, okay? And that way, every day when you're getting up this year, if you start to lose your focus, you can go back and go, oh wait, no, I am athletic. <laughs> Maybe I didn't walk the dog yesterday or do what I was supposed to do, but I am athletic, so I'm gonna figure it out. And then it's a whole year that you're going through and you're doing this all year. So you're going to make mistakes, you're gonna fall back and it's totally fine. Um, so let me know if y'all like this. Um, oh, my mom says kind. Oh, that's a good one. So you can put I am kind. Um, and again, if you don't want to get out paints and do a whole painting, you can totally just write it on Sharpie. Um, how can I watch the entire program? I came in at the end. Um, Leslie, I would love for you to watch this whole Facebook Live. I'm going to finish it and then I'll post it. And so here in about five minutes, you can watch the replay. All right, guys, I hope you like this. And I hope you have a great, great word of the year. All right, I'll talk to you soon.